Uh, it's a bestseller. The bank manager's happy. So are you happy? Um, well, yes. Well, actually, you are thrilled in the first week when it became a bestseller. It's so exciting. Uh, but then the funny thing is you get used to it. And um, uh, that's a general thing with happiness. W with new excitements in our life, we get used to them and they become quite normal. So they don't help us in the long run to be happy. Um, but what still does make me happy after half a year on the list now, is um, readers telling me uh, how much I gave them and how much they enjoyed reading the book. Th that's what makes me really happy. Now, we've just seen in the film that the Swiss are meant to be the happiest in the world, which is a, surprises me slightly. Yeah. But does it have to do with money, then? Um, not so much as you would think. Um, if you compare um, Swiss, Swiss which are really well off to Swiss which are less well off, you find no big difference. Uh, the real clue about the Swiss is um, that they have a very well evolved democracy and they have lots of possibilities um, to, influence, to, uh, to influence their environment, uh, to make things in society as they wish um, to have them. And that makes them feel empowered. Uh, uh, that's important for their happiness. That's what the studies about the Swiss show. Um, very high in the ranking, besides the Swiss, are all the Scandinavians, for example, the people in Iceland. Now, the people in Iceland, half a year they sit in really dreadful weather, um, but they enjoy life. Uh, now, the reason for that is society as well. Uh -huh. So, g give me a quick fix, if you like, a quick five-point plan of happiness. Uh, you know, what is it other, th other than democracy, for instance, and things uh, like uh, that? Right, we, uh, which we can't change so quickly. Uh, now, what, uh, what everyone can do um, is you can be more attentive to your good moments. We tend not to notice our good moments, um, to kind of discuss them away. That's one thing you can do. A second thing you can do is um, control your negative emotions like anger or sadness. Um, be aware of them, but don't go too deep into them. It's not good for you. Uh, that's what studies show. Um, a third thing you can do is um, variety in life. A fourth thing you can do is move your body. Um, sport. Sport, yes, Sport's of course. Good to do. Of course. Now, I've recently, just the last couple of days, conducted my own survey of going around on trains and in the street of smiling at people. And the main reaction has been sort of to look away from me or, or people think I'm a yeah. bit mad. Why is this? Why, is, especially if I may say in this country, Germany? Um, because Germans tend to think that somebody who is sad in life, who suffers, who suffers uh, about the world must be a very deep, a very serious person, um, must be a very creative person. We have, uh, we have all those um, culture of romanticism, of, uh, of um, sad artists deeply suffering about themselves and their world. Um, uh, now, science now shows th that this is not true. This is completely irrational. Well, I hope uh, you're making the Germans a lot happier. Thank you for your book. Thank you for joining us today. Stefan Klein.